I would like to give you some health tips. First of all, do regular exercise daily. WHO recommends that you should do 150 minutes of exercise per week. What you can do if you're working is that use the stairs instead of the elevator. When you're walking or having a meeting or on the phone, try to walk in the corridors as much as you can. Second tip is that have a healthy, balanced diet. That means you should have a lot of fruits and vegetables in your diet. When you start up for work, have a good breakfast with a lot of nuts and milk and carry a 11 o'clock fruit snack. Then have a healthy diet for lunch. Go home and have milk. Then in the evening, have a light dinner. Decrease the junk food in your diet. Decrease the smoking and decrease the alcohol in your diet. Take vitamin supplements every day because you're working and you need them. After 35, we recommend that you should be taking calcium supplements also, unless you're taking a lot of dairy products. Third tip is that you should take out some me time for yourself. Even if you have children, even if you have a busy work schedule, you have to take out some me time to indulge in your hobbies. Whether it is that you want to listen to music, you want to go out with your friends for lunch, but that is very important because that will take away the stress from your life and your work. Fourth tip is that you should visit your gynecologist regularly. She's the one who will tell you whether you need to do a pap smear and how often you should do that. How often should you do mammographies once you've reached 45 years of age? When should you do your ultrasound? And how often should you do your blood tests like blood sugars, your lipid profile, your CBC, so that we see that you're not anemic. Anemia is a very common problem in Indian women because you're losing so much of blood during your periods, your nutrition may not be healthy, and maybe if there's any worm infestation. So your doctor will treat you for all that. Diabetes is another thing that you have to look out for annually because Asian population is very, very prone to diabetes. And it can affect your pregnancy, it can cause GDM during pregnancy, it can affect the baby inside your womb. You look after your sugars, you look after your blood pressure, you look after your health problems and your blood tests like lipid profile and CBC and thyroid so that you stay healthy. If you stay healthy and happy, then your family will be healthy and happy. Thank you. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest healthcare updates.